Hi, this is Tom, Mike 7 Mike, Charlie Quebec, and we're just about to uh, install this noise blanker into the uh, RGO1. So uh, we've got the actual module, we've got the screw that uh, mounts it on the PCB, small fillet screwdriver, some solder, and the instructions. So the first thing to do is remove the top cover. Very simple. Okay, so the uh, four screws have uh, been removed there. Just lift the lid up. It's attached to uh, speaker wire there. So let's just disconnect that. Put that over to one side. That's great. And now the next move is um, to actually remove this. It's actually held on with um, a couple of solder blobs there and there, there and there. So uh, let me just see if I can show it you a little bit better. There and there. So uh, the soldering iron is heating up. So as soon as that's ready, we'll, uh, we'll desolder that. It's not soldered on this side, by the way. Okay, the uh, soldering iron has reached temperature. So hopefully this should come off relatively easily. Yeah, that's the first one. That's it up there in my thumb. There you go. Very easy. Just clean, clean the tip. There you go. Now, just before we do anything else, we've got to uh, just cut that link there, the small link. Um, either desolder it or just snip it with uh, side cutters. Okay, so we've got the uh, noise blanker module here and you can see the uh, the two toroids there. They're actually, uh, they're going to go that way over in the corner. So that's the orientation of it. And uh, you can see that these pins are going to go into that um, pin block there. And the screw that holds this in place is going to go into that brass uh, that brass inset there. All right, so uh, I think the best way is probably to hold on to the toroids and carefully align these holes. Uh, it's not exactly easy, but we'll get there, I'm sure. Right, I can feel that that's in. Nicely lined up. So all we've got to do now is put the screw in. You actually get uh, the screw with the star washer, just so that uh, it doesn't come undone. I'll just put those together. Insert it. It's very straightforward stuff anyway. I'm sure uh, there's no real need for any of this guidance, but I'm doing it, so I thought I'd record it. There you go, just nip that up. And all I've got to do now is put uh, the RF shield in back in place. Okay, we're just going to resolder this. It should be fairly easy, obviously, because it's uh, it's already uh, the solder's already there. So we can just add a little bit more to it and get it uh, fluid. Yeah, that's a good one. And that looks pretty good too. Okay, that's all there is to it. Put the lid back on, test it. Thanks for watching. Mike 7, Mike Charlie Quebec.